Everybody, happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. We just want to welcome you to the New Beginnings Church of the Big Band. A la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. Amen. So, yeah. all we ask you to do is just be prepared to receive what God has for you. Amen. I mean, that's the thing. Is anytime that you're with Him, you know, it's just, Lord, hey, you have something for me. And I want it. Amen. Amen. And He wants to give it. And sometimes we just say, no, <laughs> I didn't come prepared for that. I just come to sit. And... Uh -huh. We, we need to be focused and not focused out. We need to be focused yeah. in. Amen. Amen. So get ready to receive. Welcome all those who are, that are joining us by audio and video. Prepare yourselves to receive. Bienvenido a todos los que nos escuchan por audio y video. Prepárese a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. Y tiene mucho. He's got lots for you. We got a great message for you today. Is pressing onward and upward. Amen. So, amen. Grab your Bibles. I'm ready. I don't know about you, but uh, grab your Bibles and let's say like we're in at church. Amen. Yeah. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the Word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same. In Jesus' name. Leave it up there, Carmen. Says I am. This is why it's so important that you get the truth. Get the Word of God in you because it says... I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Be a can-do person. Not a, you know, just apply the word. Amen. When you apply the word, you can do, the Bible says, this is one of our scriptures today, you can do all things through Christ yeah. who strengthens you. Amen. Amen. And today, I'll be taught the word of God. I don't care about so-and-so, <laughs> right. your neighbor or, or whatever. But today, I'll be taught the Word of God. I want to grow and go for God. Amen. I don't Amen. know about you, but He wants us to grow and go for Him. Amen. Amen. That means we need to have a relationship. That means we got to mature, be mature in the Word of God. Amen. Amen. We need to be growing. And uh, I boldly confess my mind is alert. You know what? We got to put our minds, <laughs> just empty your minds and focus on what God has for you. Amen. I know the Cowboys are playing, and they're not playing so good anyway. <laughs> and I know there's other ball games on, and there's other distractions going on, and the enemy's going to see to it that you're out of focus. We need to get focused on what God has for us. Amen? Amen. Stay focused on what he has for us. Amen? Boldly confess my mind is alert. The enemy attacks the mind. The mind is the battlefield. Yes. Amen? If you don't know, you should know by now. The mind is the battlefield, and the enemy's going to use it. World's going to use it. People's going to use it. All oh, everybody's going to use it. Amen. So we got to renew our mind to what the Word of God says. Yes. If you don't renew your mind, you're going to be lost. Amen. You're going to be confused, and you're going to be something else God never called you to be. And today we're going to be talking about pressing onward and upward, mm -hmm. and you're not going to do this. If your mind's not renewed on a daily basis, amen, or have a relationship with them, amen. So my spirit is receptive. I receive, Lord, what you have for me. Yeah. Amen. You don't have anything bad for you. Lord, put this on me. Lord, put sickness on me to teach me something. No, you did not. No. You're confused. Get it right. Get in the Word and get the right thing. Because He has no sickness to put on you because you put it on Jesus. And Jesus went to the cross and says, by His stripes you're healed. So, amen. Uh, all that's free. We're not going there. But <laughs> <laughs> that's just a freebie. Woo! Yeah. Open your Bibles to uh, Philippians chapter 3 and verses 13, 14. I'm going to read it to you from the Amplified so you follow along with yours. Amen. amen. But let me just read here what I wrote. Move it upward. Boom. Excuse, excuse me. Press it onward and upward. Having an, a winning attitude. Growing, going, and going for Him. <coughs> growing. We've got to be growing on a daily basis. Amen. Amen. We've got to be growing. We've got to be doing something. Getting in, uh, having a relationship with Him. Getting in the Word. Yeah. And growing in the things of God. And glowing in it. And going for God. He said He told His disciples to go. Yeah. Amen. So He's telling us to go. Amen. That's two-thirds of God's name. <laughs> go. <laughs> We're not to just sit still. We're to go and be doing yeah. for Him. Amen. So we're on a mission. 
Woo! How many of you remember the, the Jeffersons? The show used to be on TV. He says, we're moving on up. Yeah. You know, this should be a Christian's or a believer's attitude on a daily basis. We're moving on up. Amen. Yeah. We're moving up. Don't stay down. If you stay down, it's because you're allowing yourself to stay yeah. down. Uh -huh. But we need to be moving on up with him yes. on a daily basis. Amen. Amen. God calls us to be winners, not losers. Yeah, I'm getting way ahead of myself, but... <laughs> The world and the the people God the the world uses and the people the enemy uses mm -hmm. has labeled you a certain way. Mm -hmm. One of them is a loser. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can't do. Okay, mm -hmm. you're not a can do person. Wrong. Mm -hmm. You're gonna take these words and you're gonna. Yes. Focus on these words and start speaking what the word of God says, not what the world says, right. and not what the world has labeled you, mm -hmm. but be what God has called you to be. Amen. And He says you can do all things all through things. Christ who strengthens you. Mm -hmm. Amen. So let's remember this. Anyway, let's read. Mine says, starts off with, uh, well, let me read this to you first. Moving on up, pressing on with Jesus. This is the courage and courage you to press on uh upward and onward with jesus amen continue to write the race he has called you to run he wants you to keep on uh pressing on yes. and to take hold of all that is yours in his kingdom mm -hmm. amen he wants you to take hold of it you know you can't have anything mm -hmm. but you have you have you can have all that you can that, that you say you can have all that's in the word of god because mm -hmm. it's yours he's given it yeah. to us amen and he wants you to take authority. And it's one of the things Amen. you can have. Have authority. Take authority. It's time you tell the enemy where to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You go to hell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can tell the enemy, go to hell. Uh -huh. If you go to hell, what can you tell yourself when you're in hell? Mm -hmm. Where do you go? <laughs> mm -hmm. Go to heaven? <laughs> no, that's funny. Anyway, <laughs> Philippians <laughs> 3, 13 and 14. Mine starts off with, this is a high calling of God see yourself that way God has a high calling on you uh -huh. okay once again the world has labeled you a certain way mm. your family your friends those around you mm. have labeled you a certain way yeah. God says I have a call on you mm -hmm. some people have told you God can't use you God can't God didn't call you Yes, he did. He's got a call on your life. He's anointed you, yes. equipped you, and wants you to fulfill whatever mission he's called you to do. Yes. But you got to find out from him. Mm -hmm. So you got to have a relationship so I can find out. So this is a high calling of God, and you need to put your name there for you. Mm -hmm. Whatever your name is, you're a believer. You're a child of God. See yourself that way and start yes. confessing what the Word of God says. Start speaking what the Word of God says. Amen. Start sowing that word in you. Okay, so let's let me read it to you from uh, the Amplified. It says, brothers and sisters, I did not consider that I have made it my own yet. But one thing I do, this is what I have to do, forgetting what lies behind me and reaching forward to what lies ahead. Yeah. Okay, yesterday's gone. Mm -hmm. Two days, the week, last week is gone. Last year is gone. But we want to spend time there. And the enemy is going to put people around you to remind you of all your shortcomings. And you're going to have it in here. That's why it's so important you renew your mind. Because you got to get that out and wash it out. If, if Jesus can forgive you and forget, so can we. Now it's time to get up and press on. It says press it on, onward and upward with him. Amen. Mm -hmm. And you're not going to be able to do that if you're all confused. Don't know what to do. And verse 14 says, I, <laughs> scratch I and put your name on there. Mm -hmm. I, Jose, press on towards the goal to win the heavenly prize for the upward or moving on up call of God in Christ Jesus. He's calling us to move on up. Amen. He's calling us to do something. So we need to get it on. <laughs> you need to press on and move on. Amen. Amen. And move up. Forget the past. Mm -hmm. Moving on up. Pressing onward. Amen. Yes. <laughs> Being a winner. Pressing onward and upward with a winning attitude. Yes. Enjoyed by T. 
Jesus. Uh -huh. Enjoyed by his apostles. Mm -hmm. Enjoyed by the Bible heroes. Amen. Enjoyed by the Bible heroes. So we all know of a Bible hero. Well, guess what? They weren't perfect, but God used them. Amen. They sinned, but God used them. So he wants to use you. It's time Amen. to get off your como se llama and, <laughs> and, and, and say, Lord, you got a mission for me? And I want to fulfill this mission. Yes. I'm tired of being tired. <laughs> I'm tired of doing nothing. All right. So I want to do for you. And the Bible says you can do all things through Christ. Amen. All things, Amen. All things through Christ. Now, Jesus, apostles, Bible heroes. So number four is what? Hmm. Believers. Yes. Us. Me. You. Amen. Include yourself. Don't exclude yourself. We're so good to exclude ourselves. Yes. God called Moses. And Moses says, you got the wrong person. Mm. God called you. And you still arguing with him about, you picked the wrong person. The world says this. My family says this. My friend says this. My enemy says this. Mm. So all these sins and all these people are totally against you. Mm. God says, I called you. Yes. Amen. You're special. Yeah. Remember when the man of God came to uh, select the king of Israel? And he went to Jesse's house. And man, Jesse has some sons. <laughs> Eight of them. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and all seven went through there. And says, nope, 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 nope. He says, do you have another son? He said, oh yeah, but he's over there watching, taking care of the sheep. You know? Even Jesse said, well, he's, he, you know, the world says, your family says, oh, he's, he's a nobody. She's a nobody. They're, they're just doing this. <laughs> he said, well, go get him. <laughs> and here comes uh, David. And guess what? <laughs> God confirms says, that's him. The next king of Egypt watch, watch, watching <laughs> or taking care of the sheep. Israel. Being a shepherd. Israel. Israel. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes. <laughs> Israel. <laughs> Amen. So praise God. The king of Israel. So what about you? Mm -hmm. He's called to you enough times. Uh -huh. Now it's time for you to get off the como se llama yeah. and, and be obedient to what God has for you. Yes, yes. Amen. <laughs> you didn't have to watch walk, shepherd all them sheep for all that time. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> now he's the king of Israel. Yes. Praise God. You're special. See yourself that way. Yes. Don't, la don't let people label you what they want to call you. Uh -huh. Don't accept it. Don't receive it. it. Amen. Just let it go. Mm -hmm. So present on with an attitude available to all believers. Your choice, you choose. Mm -hmm. You can just go along with that or or, 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 or you could just say, hey, that's not for me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to press on with a winning attitude. I'm going to press onward and upward with Jesus. Amen. Amen. That's you. All things are possible through him. Uh, Matthew 19, 26 says, But Jesus beheld them and said unto them, with men, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. We need to remember this. <laughs> you know what? That looks impossible for me. But guess what? <laughs> Moses got in front of the Red Sea. And he looked that way. And he sees water. <laughs> and he looks behind him. And here comes the Egyptian army. <laughs> it's impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Yes. So God told him what to do. Yeah. So God, you know, hey, your mission may look impossible. Mm -hmm. Your mission may say, well, I can't do it on my own. You're right. You need God on a daily basis. So yeah. you know what? With God, all things are possible. Oh. Let's remember this. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Just make yourself. Here's the thing is, he's not looking for abilities. He's looking for availabilities. Yeah. Yeah. Are you available? Make yourself available. Amen. Come on now. <laughs> so I want to encourage you to start every day rejoicing, being glad, pressing upward and, on, and onward uh -huh. with a winning attitude. Um, Psalms 118, 24 says what? This is the day the Lord has made. Rejoice, be glad in it. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, I'm going to start my new mission today mm -hmm. with a winning attitude. Amen. I'm going to rejoice and be glad. Yeah. That's what he tells us to do. Yes, or you're going to be just sad and stay there and say, well, you know, Monday through Friday, Monday through Thursday is not good. But guess what? Hey, praise God. Thank God it's Friday. Today's Friday and I'm going to wake up and the weekend's here. 
know on a daily basis have that winning attitude yeah. have the attitude to serve him amen? amen he wants to use you be available for him amen having a, a, a shout of victory <laughs> you know when you're full of the word you have a shout of victory yeah all them fears is gone, amen. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna shout, you know. I'm, I'm so you, you see little kids praising God, they get full of God and they want to praise Him. They know, raise their arms, they lift their arms to praise Him. Us, we do the same thing, you know. You get full, so full of God, you just want to praise Him, Lord. I just want to praise Him and I want to serve you and I want to press on, amen. I want to press on with you. I shout of victory, stirred up in Him. Having a pep in your step and walking by faith. Uh -huh. Amen. Walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. If you're not walking by faith, <laughs> you're walking in fear. Because everything you see, I said, man, that's impossible. Yes, yeah, impossible, but walk in faith knowing that I can do all things through Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. For with him, he's walking with me. He said he never leaves us, nor forsake us. He's with me. So guess what? With him, all things are possible. He's with you and he's backing yeah. you. Amen. Praise Amen. God. John 4, 4 says, My dear children, this is an easy to read version. You belong to God. So you have already defeated, overcome these false prophets. This because the one who is in you is greater than the one that is in the world. Mm -hmm. The one that is in you is greater than the one that is in the world. Yes. You have to remember what the word of God says. So when doubt comes, they say, wait a minute. I'm not receiving it. This is what the Word of God says. Yeah. And then choose what the Word of God says over your life. And press on with what God says. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the enemy's under my foot. Or my feet. It says greater, bigger. Yeah. Than all your problems. He's bigger than any of your cares. Yeah. Sickness, anxiety, setbacks, failures. Or any lacks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Coronavirus. <laughs> It's a hot thing right now. <laughs> well, he's bigger. Yeah. He's bigger, okay? He's bigger than all this. He's bigger than any mountains that can come against you. Whatever that mountain happens to be. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. So, keep pressing onward and upward with a winning attitude. I keep saying this. Because we've been so downbeaten, you know, by the world. Saying that we're losers. Mm -hmm. And I'm getting ahead of myself, but... God made us to be winners, not losers. Yes, so it's time we start acting that way. And know whose we are and who we are in Him. And when we know this, we're going to step out in faith. Amen. No matter what you see, I'm stepping out in faith because God is with me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Come on now. And uh, it says, keep pressing onward and upward with a winning attitude. And what's my attitude? Philippians 4.13. <laughs> I can do all things all through Christ. Who strengthens me <laughs> when you know this i say praise god mm -hmm. is that what you want me to do sure i know i can do all of this oh. through christ through you because you give me the strength mm -hmm. praise the lord i'm a can-do person child or i'm a can-do child of god mm -hmm. see yourself this way amen remember to confess your say so's <laughs> confess the right things the word of god says not the negative things amen don't be confessing the negative things the world says or what they try to label you. Confess the right things. Mm -hmm. You know, we're so easy to disqualify ourselves. We're so easy to, dis, uh, what's the word? Exclude ourselves mm -hmm. instead of uh, including ourselves. Yep. We're a team. The yes. Bible calls us the body of Christ. Yes. We're a team. And teams operate in unity. Yeah, Amen. We operate in unity. We're supposed to operate in unity. Amen. And when you have unity, you have the power of God flowing. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord, I'm doing this under you. And I'm not jealous of what you do because all these parts, one, one, one part, well, excuse me, many parts, one body. Mm -hmm. Amen. And we're doing this under him. And I'm not jealous of what you're doing because God has me doing something else. But I'm pulling for you because we're together. And we're pulling together. This body is functioning good because we're it's all functioning in unity. And that's what the body of Christ needs to be. Amen. So remember that. Woo! Praise the Lord. I'm a child of God. I'm a can-do person. If you're going to have an attitude, have a winning attitude. And keep pressing on. Yeah. You know, people are going to get jealous at you. 
they're going to look at you and say things about you? Why? Who does he think he is? I am a child of God. And I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Okay? And they're not going to like you for that. But praise God, I'm being obedient to him. I serve him. Amen? So, regardless of what the world says, I'm pressing on with him. Nobody wants a losing attitude. Losing and defeat is for the enemy, not for God's children. Amen. You can say this to yourself on a daily basis. Losing and defeat is not for me. What's, what's yours, win or lose, is your choice. With the one you choose, you're going to choose for yourself. But that's your choice. Mm -hmm. God didn't uh, choose losing for you. That's why he sacrificed Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Now, all you need to do is be focused Amen. on the word of God. Yeah. Read the word and grow in the word. Amen. Mm -hmm. And start confessing the right things. He says, if you know the truth, it's going to set you free. Amen. From all these mindsets, from all these traditions, from all these negative things. Mm -hmm. Amen. From the, the losing attitudes, you know. Praise God. Choose to press onward and upward mm -hmm. with a winning attitude. Can you say that or no? <laughs> Remember that we are joint heirs with Jesus. We're winners. We're overcomers. Romans 8.17 yeah. says, And if children, then heirs, Heirs of God and joint uh, joint heirs with Christ. Yeah. If needed, we suffer with him. <clears throat> that we may also be glorified together. Mm -hmm. So I'm joint heir. You know, he's he's my uh, he's my he's my brother. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Keep putting uh, God first on yeah. a daily basis. Amen. That's what uh, Matthew six thirty three says. Seek you first the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. And his righteousness and all these other things shall be added on to you. Yeah. So seek him first on a daily basis as you choose to press on. How am I going to press on? I'm going to press onward and upward. And I'm going to press on with a winning attitude. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Wherever you set me, Lord, I'm going to fulfill what you've called me to, be, to, to do. Start daily by putting on the full armor and press on with Jesus. And never leave. He never leaves you nor forsake you. Yeah. Wherever you happen to go, he's with you. We say, oh man, I forgot to bring Jesus. No, he's with you. <laughs> he don't forget. You forget. Amen. We don't need, let's not forget. Amen. He's always with us. He says he never leaves you nor forsakes you. Remember to do your part. Oh, uh, let me go up here. Trust him. He knows what's best for you. Let go and let God, let his word bless you and change you. Amen. And you know, we've got some correction coming. we got some changing coming. And it's okay. You know, it's all right. Trust God. He will set you free mm -hmm. from whatever situation, whatever care, whatever's coming against you. He'll set you free. So all you have to do is, is be obedient to what the word of God says. He will change us from losers to winners. Yes. What do I have to do? I have to do my part. Amen. He's done his part. Now I got to do my part. Mm -hmm. Amen. Study, meditate, renew my mind, obey, watch your words, and watch your actions. Mm -hmm. Amen. This is what you got to do. I got to study. Open that Bible and say, well, God never talks to me. But when was the last time you opened your Bible? <laughs> He'll talk to you. Read the word. Get the word in you. Mm -hmm. Meditate on it. Renew your mind with the word. Be obedient to what it tells you to do. Watch your words and your actions. How does the enemy know to come in? When you speak negative, you open the door for the enemy to come in. So you have to be careful. Select your words right. Be positive and not negative. Yeah. Come on now. <laughs> That's right. James 1.22 says in the New King James, But be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourself. The easy to read version says, do what God's teaching says. Mm -hmm. Don't just listen and do nothing. Yeah. When you only sit and listen, you're fooling yourself. Oh boy. <laughs> How many times we've said this? Part-time believer mm -hmm. is no match to a full-time devil. That's it. You say, Lord, you told me to do this, but it's not working. Mm -hmm. Well, you're not doing your part. Mm -hmm. You got to do your part. Amen. You got to do your part, and if you're not doing it, uh, it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna work. Mm. But don't blame him, amen. amen. 
Amen. The correction has to come here. Yeah. So, amen. So he's going to encourage us. He's going to bless us. But he's also going to correct us. Yeah. Amen. We need correction. Proverbs 18, 21 says this. And we know this very well. <laughs> the tongue can speak words that bring life or death. Uh -huh. Those who love to talk must be ready to accept what it brings. Uh -huh. Well, I had to share him this. I had to give, tell him this. I had to tell whatever. Mm. But you got to accept what it brings. Yeah. If you sow negative things, you're going to grow negative things. Yeah. And you brought it upon yourself. Mm -hmm. So you have to be careful. Mm -hmm. uh, Proverbs 18, 21, and the message says, Words kill, words give life. Mm -hmm. They are either poison or fruit. Guess what? Yeah. But you choose. Yeah. So whatever you release, you release it for yourself. So yeah. be more selective. Be more careful. Select the right words to speak. Life or death, positive or negative. Mm -hmm. You are sowing in your own garden of life. That's it. Amen. Speaking uh, God's word will change your life. Mm -hmm. Amen. How many of you want to change? Okay. I want to change. I don't know about you, but we need to change on a daily basis yeah. and draw closer to him. He says, I'll draw close to you, but you got to draw close to me. Mm -hmm. So he's done his part. Now I got to do my part. Yeah. You know, you don't, <laughs> if God ain't around, you got to check yourself. Mm -hmm. And maybe it's time you confess and get all that sin out of you. Amen. Come on. Amen. You still love pastor? Yeah. <laughs> we're, we can't cover all this today. Amen. I'm just going to give you so much and we'll continue next week. Amen. <clears throat> Again, James 1.22 in the Expanded Bible says, Do what God's teaching says. Uh -huh. When you only listen and do nothing, you're fooling yourself. Mm -hmm. Be doers of the word and not hearers only, uh -huh. deceiving yourself. As doers and hearers of his word, his word will help us. It's for our benefit, not for his benefit. Yeah. Okay? We need the help, mm -hmm. not him. He don't need the help. We need the help. Lord, I need you. Lord, I need you. I need help. Okay. Are you confessing what the word of God says? Are you doing what he's telling you to do? Are you being obedient? Are you watching what, what you're saying? Be careful. Remember, the spoken word does the work. Does the work. Not the one holding on to it. If you get the word in you and hold on to it, it ain't going to do anything. It ain't going to help you. He says, I've given you authority. I've given you the word, my word. So get the word in you and release it. Speak yeah. it out. Confess it. Yeah. But you got to get it out. It says, out of your innermost being shall flow rivers of, of living water. Living water. Uh -huh. Amen. Speak the word. So it can accomplish. So it can do and accomplish the work. Mm. Don't hold on to it. Let's go to Isaiah. Uh, it's been a while since we read this uh, scripture. But let's go to Isaiah 55. A lot of, I know all of you Bible scholars know this, but uh, once in a while it's okay to, to look it up. Amen. Amen. And we use the Word of God, so praise God. So, whatever uh, translation you have, Isaiah 55 11. We're talking about speaking the Word of God. How powerful is the Word of God? Mm -hmm. <laughs> God spoke yeah. this world into existence. Yes, he did. <laughs> Amen. Words are powerful. <laughs> Life and death are in the power of the tongue. Life and death are in the power of the words you speak. Yes. Amen. So Isaiah 55, 11 says what? So shall, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, says it, but it shall accomplish mm -hmm. that which I please. And I shall prosper in it, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I send it. Yeah. Amen. But he says, I release it. Mm -hmm. So you have to release it. You know, just because you follow the word mm -hmm. doesn't mean it's going to do you any good. You got to release it. Yes. It's, it's for you. That's the authority. Release that authority. Amen. Release the word. Yes. So release it. Speak it. Sow it, whatever you want to say. Uh -huh. Plant the seed. Amen. Words are seed, but you got to plant them. 
How do you plant them? You got to release them and plant them. Amen. Ooh. Hallelujah. It worked for Jesus. Guess what? Mm -hmm. It'll work for you. Yeah. Amen. And that's what we have to do. We got to release it. I got another scripture to read for you. It's easy to read version. So just follow along. Turn your Bibles to Proverbs chapter 4. And verse 20 through 27. Proverbs, uh, uh, Proverbs chapter 4. Verses 20 through 27. It's an easy to read version. <clears throat> Are you there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It says, My son or daughter, I'm talking to daughters too, <laughs> it says, Pay attention to what I say. Yeah. <laughs> Listen closely to my words, don't let them out of your sight. Never stop thinking about them. These words are the secret of life and health to all who discover them. Above all, be careful what you think because your thoughts control your life. Mm -hmm. Now you know why it's so important to renew your mind mm -hmm. with the Word of God. Amen. 24 says, don't bend the truth or say things that you don't that you know are not right mm. or don't lie <laughs> 25 keep your eyes on the path and look straight ahead mm. 26 make sure you're going the right way and nothing will make you fall 27 don't go to the right and don't go to the left and you will stay away from evil from sin the wicked dishonest vices in more practices or habits. That was just what I put in there. But hallelujah. This is this is awesome. Amen. Mm -hmm. This is awesome. Romans 12 and 2, chapter 12 and verse 2 says, Do not be conformed to this world, but what? Be transformed. By what? By renewing your mind. Mm -hmm. That you may prove that which is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. His word, his way is the best for us. So it pays to obey. Yes, it does. Amen. It pays to obey his word. Mm -hmm. And we need to be obedient. Amen. Amen. Whew, but some of us don't don't have a winning attitude. Why? Because we're not here as the doers of his word. Mm -hmm. We don't control the tongue. Mm -hmm. We don't put a guard. So we just speak negative words. And the enemy is listening 24-7. Mm. And we open the door and he comes in. <laughs> You've heard of, if you give the devil a ride, you'll want to drive. <laughs> <laughs> so don't open the door and don't give him no rides. <laughs> Life and death are in the power of the tongue. Positive or negative mm -hmm. is your choice. Amen. But know that you'll reap what you sow. Yes. Amen. Commit to change and press on with this winning attitude. Mm -hmm. The Bible, God's basic instruction before leaving earth, mm -hmm. or you could say the manual for life will extend my life if I choose to read and obey. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's promised us so much, so much in, in life, mm -hmm. but it, it's my choice to obey. Yes. Amen. To obey. So be hearers and doers of what the Word of God tells us to do. So if you want to win an attitude, read and obey what his word says. Change your words. Change your say-sos. You know, it's never too late to change the things you say. Mm -hmm. Instead of negative, be positive. Why do you have to be down on yourself all the time? Mm -hmm. Why do you have to speak negative about yourself all the time? Well, that's what people call me. That's what people label me. Label me. Well, stop. Mm -hmm. Because you're giving voice to it. And it's a seed that's going and it's growing and you're reaping from it. Uh -huh. So change your words from negative to positive. Uh -huh. And things will change in your life. A lot of that problem is not from nobody else but yourself. Yeah. I've told you this before. You look in the mirror and you're looking at your biggest problem. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you got to change that. Yeah. I'm going to confess what the Word of God says. I'm going to do what the Word of God says. Amen? So... We have a a little rack back there with all kind of uh, handouts, and it's got some say-sos, positive say-sos, what the Word of God says about you. 
and start confessing those things instead of all the things you've been saying about yourself. You know, yeah. <laughs> if you go around saying negative things about yourself, the whole world, <laughs> your your friends and your enemies are going to agree with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so stop, change, stop and change that. Only you can do this. Yeah. Amen. And even though they continue to say those things, don't accept it. Say, you know what? I'm not that person anymore. I don't live there anymore. If you got something against me, go to my God and tell him. You know, I say, oh, no, I'm not going there. Well, then drop it. Forget about it. Many believers have been conditioned, accustomed, trained to believe that winning is not for them. That they're losers. And guess what? They go all their lives thinking this way. But you can change it. You know, you are going somewhere. You are bringing the good news to a lost world. Mm -hmm. The people like this. And letting them know God loves you. And God wants to change you. And God's called you to be a winner and not a loser. Really? I didn't know this. Yes. And all we have to do is make an attitude change. Make a change and start confessing the right things. Yeah. Amen. And then we can start pressing onward and upward. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Yeah. Careful where you get your advice. Yeah. Sister so-and-so, brother so-and-so. Mm -hmm. Well, who are they? <laughs> well, they got a PhD. Really? <laughs> so what? That's not what the Word of God says. If it's not what the Word of God says, I don't care what degree you have. I'm not going to receive what you say. I'm going to receive what the word of God says. Mm -hmm. Amen. Watch out for dream busters. We've talked about this all the time. Mm -hmm. But vision busters, mission busters, mm -hmm. dream busters. You know, hey, you got a dream. Mm -hmm. And God's equipped you to fulfill that dream. But then you got all these little dream busters yeah. going to come around you and say, I'm jealous because I can't do this. And I'm not going to let you do this. I'm going to tell you all kinds of negative things. So you can stop and let's stop. You know, hey, let's go have another cold one. <laughs> you go. <laughs> Amen. They're going to take you, pull you, and, and tell you, you know, hey, you can take a break from God. Amen. Mm. Aren't you glad Jesus never took a break yeah. when he was going to be sacrificed? Amen. Amen. One week, he comes into Jerusalem and, and, and they hail him as a king. Mm. And next week, they're crucifying him. Mm -hmm. And he didn't say, time out. Father, get me out of here. I'm not going through with this. He didn't quit. He didn't call us to be quitters. He called us to be winners. Amen. Amen. Come on now. <laughs> so, watch out for dream busters. And you can tell because they're going to tell you, that won't work. That won't work. But my God says it will. Mm -hmm. Well, then go by what God says. Mm -hmm. Not by what they're saying. They just yeah. want you to quit because they're jealous. <laughs> Cast all your cares on him. Uh -huh. And then renew your mind with the word of God. Mm -hmm. It's so important you renew your mind with the word of God. Yeah. I mean, it's not just daily, but yeah, they, I mean, you do it daily, but constantly. Yes. Because the enemy is going to attack and uh -huh. try to pull you down constantly. Yes. And if he can't do it, he's going to use people sometimes close people, sometimes family, sometimes friends, sometimes enemies to try to knock you out and put you out. Amen. So many are convinced that having a winning attitude is unimportant. They lie. It's a lie from the enemy. Mm -hmm. It's a lie from the pit of hell. Mm -hmm. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. So if we know this, then give him no place. That's it. Give no place to the enemy. Yeah. He said, that's not right. Mm -hmm. If God called me to do this, I'm not receiving what the enemy has to say. Yeah. Amen. Other enemies out there are, well, <clears throat> are called losing an average. Many believers settle for losing or average. Mm -hmm. Bible tells us, God says, you can be yeah. hot or cold but not lukewarm. Right. And some of us just want to settle for lukewarm. Yeah. I just want to straddle the fence. <laughs> I just want to straddle the fence uh -huh. and, and do nothing. I just want to be normal. Yeah. Amen. I don't want to do anything. But he says, I just want to be average. Mm -hmm. 
But listen to this, many believers settle for, for this losing an average life. Uh -huh. God wants to launch us yes. off the bottom, yeah. losing yes. past the middle, which is average, to the top, to the top <coughs> where you're a winner and moving upward and onward with Him. Amen. 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 So remember that. That's you. Amen. Yes. That's you. God made us to be originals, not copies. So you don't have to go around copying nobody else. Yes. But that's what we do. Yeah. We like to copy. Uh, Amen. And we don't have to go around copying. Just be the original God made you to be. He made you so special. He only made one of you. Oh, Lord. Thank God. Amen. <laughs> so see, see yourself that way. He made you so special. It's only one of you. And God loves you this way. But he made you original, not a copy. You know what happens when you go copying someone? That's when not, that's not what he called you to do. No. Amen. He has a special mission just for you. Amen. So you need to focus on him and spend, spend time with him and know what he's called you to do. Yes. Big. You know, this world is into real big things, you know. Well, big or small, just say, Lord, I'm doing this out of you. And if he's pleased, don't matter what the world says. Amen. You be pleased. And God's going to bless you and he's going to promote you. Amen. Amen. So I wrote it like this. God made you an original. Don't be a copy mm -hmm. or settle for less than what God made you to be. Yes. We're going to close right there. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Just be Hallelujah. what God called you to be. <laughs> you know, I can't change what color, what size. <laughs> I am because he made me this way. Uh -huh. Amen. But see yourself special because he made you. Amen. Amen. And he called you and he's equipped you. Now it's time for you to say, you know, <laughs> you know, maybe you've never asked Jesus to come in your heart. Maybe you never confessed him as your Lord and Savior, you know. You say, well, <laughs> I'm a nobody. You're somebody. Yeah. But what you need to do is you need to receive him and start serving him. And he's going to bless you and promote you and fulfill what he's called you to do. Amen. Amen. So all you have to do is say, Lord Jesus, mm -hmm. <laughs> I've sinned against you. I repent. I repent. Come into my heart. Into my heart. Be, my Be my Lord and Savior. Amen. You know Amen. what? From this day on, you can start living for him. Mm -hmm. Start opening the Bible. Start reading the Bible. And that word is going to change you and make you and take you to what God made you amen. to be. Amen. And you can start pressing onward and upward with him. Amen. amen. Got your copy so him. praise God. Yeah, <laughs> yeah copy him. The so Bible says in Ephesians, my image. Yeah, in, 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 in Ephesians chapter uh, 5, uh, verses 1 and 2, and in, in the uh, Amplified, it says that we're to be imitate him. Imitate mm -hmm. him. Don't don't go around imitating the world <laughs> or losers. <laughs> you know, start imitating <coughs> Christ Amen. and being Christ-like. Amen. So remember that. Let's go. Let's go there and read it right quick. Uh -oh. It's got to be brought something special. Conform yourself it, it, to the image. Yes, 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 yes. But I want to read it to you from the Amplified, Ephesians chapter five. Mm. Ephesians chapter five, verses one and two. Okay. <clears throat> Ephesians 5, 1 and 2. Mine says in the Amplified, Therefore be imitators of God. Copy Him and follow His example. Amen. And as well beloved children imitate their Father. Mm -hmm. And verse 2 says, Walk in love, esteeming and delighting in one another, as Christ loved us and gave Himself up for us. Amen. A slain offering, a sacrifice to God for you so that it became a sweet fragrance. Amen. Amen. So it says to be imitators of God. Copy him and follow his example. Amen. That's what he tells you right there. Amen. So don't copy anything else but him. Be imitators of him. Okay. So if you get full of the word, you're going to go out and you're going to imitate him. <laughs> Amen. So remember that. So praise God. Amen. I don't know if it blessed you, but it blessed me. Father, we thank you for your precious word. It came and blessed, Father God, and we thank you that we're blessed by the best, Father God. Help us to go and glow for you, Father, in Jesus' name. So 
it's time to give. Those of you that are watching, listening, and you want to give your tithe or your offerings, you still can. Our website, NBCBigBen.com. And you go to hit that donate button if you're mailing it. NBC, P.O. Box, 252 Marfa, Texas, 79843. Amen. And you know, we didn't forget if, uh, if you're hurting in any kind of way. Or you know of somebody, you know. Yeah. Know this, that by Jesus stripes you are healed. Amen. Yeah. So, Father, we just pray for all those that are watching, all those that are listening right now, Father God. We pray for their healing because Jesus yeah. paid for this. Healing, yeah. Father. And we thank you that by Jesus' stripes they're healing. Yeah. Whatever it may be, we thank you, Father, mm -hmm. that by Jesus' stripes they are healed now, today, this moment, in Jesus' name. Body, line up with the word of God, be obedient, and receive your healing now, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise God. Lord. Well, we're moving on now. <laughs> it's still on. Come on. What is it? Scott? We're on here. Uh, shut it off. Sure, well. uh, I slid it across <laughs> and the whole screen went this way. <laughs> ah. It says still got, we're still red, so we're still on. Uh, yeah, <laughs> 